So now I'm going to talk about the need for synchronization with shared data and threads. If we look at this program here, we see we've got a global variable A and two threads T1 and T2. And they're both, uh, we start them both off. So um, they're adding, this one's adding 1 to A and this one's adding 1 to A. So they're both going around the loop a hundred thousand times. So when we finish running this program, A should have the value 200,000 because uh, that'll add 1 to A um, 100,000 times and so will that. So e however they enter leave, it should end up with them being 200,000. So let's run it and see what happens. Ah, um, well at the end a is 162,942. Let's run it again. Now A is 163,329. Let's do it again. Now A is 159,657. Now it's only 135,000. As you can see, uh, now it's 177,000. It's never getting close to 200,000. So why is that? What's happening? What's going wrong? Why why isn't it getting up to the 200,000 in the way we would expect? Well, let, let me try and explain that to you now. Well, when you add... Uh, when Java gets compiled into bytecode, how do you add one... how do you add one to, to, a, to a variable A? So what happens is... so here's our variable A, suppose with 723 in it, and here's our thread, um, here's our thread uh, T1 and here's our thread T2. So now what happens is that the 723, suppose this T1 wants to add 1 to, to, um, to uh, A, so what happens is the value of A gets copied into the accumulator, so that's 723 then we add 1 to the accumulate, what's in the accumulator, so that makes uh, 724, so that becomes a, so this becomes a 4, and then, and then we write back the value of, the of what's in the accumulator to A. So that becomes 724. Now if this one does the same, if T2 does the same, so we'll first copy the value of the uh, of, uh, of what's in A into the, accum into the accumulator, well it's 724. We'd add, add 1 to that, so it becomes 725. and we put the result back into A, so A becomes 725. So that all worked very nicely. We had two addings of, of A, one from thread T1 and the other from thread 2, and we started off at 723 and now it's gone up to 725, which seems fine. But now uh, this can happen as well. Let's suppose T1 tries to add 1 to A, so we put seven, we put the value of a into the accumulator. So this goes to seven two five. Now, at that point, suppose T one gets suspended, and now T two gets its chance. And again, now T two is going to copy the value of a into the accumulator. So again. That'll be 725. Now I suppose T2 at gets its chance to add 1. So now that'll go to um, 726. And now suppose then suppose T1 gets its chance to add 1. So that'll go to 726. And suppose T1 uh, updates the value of A, so that'll be 726. 
and T2 updates the value of A, well that'll also be 726. So what's happened now is they both added 1, but it started off at 725 and it's only gone up to 726, so we've lost one of the additions. And that's exactly the problem that happens with um, when you have shared data. So the way around that, we'll now look at how to solve that problem. What we've got to make sure is that um, A1, that these two threads, T1 and T2, when they're adding one to, um, to A, they aren't interrupted by the other thread. And the other, you, don't, you do that by making, um, making the addition to A synchronized. So here, we've got the same program, except now I've, I've got a method called update which adds one to A and I made that synchronized. Uh, it, when you've got a synchronized method when one thread is executing it, if another thread tries to execute it, it's got to wait until the first one is finished. So you can only have one executing it at the same time. So now if we try this one the we can see the A adding one to A is we've got this up we're calling this update method which adds one to A so it has the same effect but now when we run that this program we should find that it always goes up to 2000. See, every time we run it, the value ends up at 2000. So the way to uh, solve the problem of sh uh, dealing with shared data and how things can go wrong is to make sure that the uh, when you access the shared data, you synchronize the methods that access it so only one thread can access the shared data at any one time.